1 Peter 5 and 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And this is just, this is Satan's whole, his, this is his life. That's his job. You know, sometimes we get mad at Satan, fuck you, Satan, this, that, and the other, but he's just doing his job. It's up to us to do our job. Rocket Dai Yahweh, Rocket Dai Yahweh Shai. Rocket Dai Yahweh, Rocket Dai Yahweh Shai. Rocket Dai Yahweh, Rocket Dai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. <coughs> Alright, this is going to be a response uh, My response To the elder apostle of Rumlob He's actually in the live stream right now And um, I, I was listening For a while While I'm, um, you know, I'm on the go And I uh, just said, well, why not Do a show while I can right now While I'm in the spirit, by listening to the elder You know, because You know, he made great points In fact And why we have to teach this truth No matter what you know, it's very important and it's a lesson to be learned being in this truth. It's a lesson to be learned being in this truth. We all know um, this truth. You know, when you come into this truth, the Lord said, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know, the word temptation means um, the desire to do something wrong or unwise. And that's Satan. And as you heard before I even um, did the introduction, the elder read the scripture. You know, Satan as a roaring lion. He don't take breaks. You know, Satan's job is, you know, to 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 give us hell. You know, we have curses on us. The so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians. All right, you are the Hebrew Israelites, and right now you're in your cap you're in captivity under Edus, Esau and the other nations. The Most High put curses on us, and He did it for a, a, a righteous reason. Because we went off. So how much more us brothers that are believing in the Lord and asking the Lord to show mercy, acknowledging the Lord and this liberty that we have, you know, giving our bodies as a living sacrifice. We still have curses on us, you know. The curses are not uplifted. It might be a little, uh, you know, um, turned down, tur tur turned down a little, you know, but... Still, you know, we, we still got those curses on us because Satan is not letting up, you know. So no matter what what's going on in our lives, we have to teach the truth. You know, it's just a part of it. And, um, you know, some brothers, you know, at one point in time, there was a well, this guy, he fell out. But um, we had a council. This was a couple of years ago. And um, he was catching a lot of hell. And I guess, you know, he thought that, you know, he was looking at brothers a certain way. Because, you know, he catching hell, you know, Satan riding him. And um, obviously, it probably was riding him because he wasn't right. You know, that's another thing, you know, learning, uh, you know, you know, having, having, having an understanding of why you catching hell. You know, sometimes you catch hell because you sin, you know, most high is um, uh, checking you, chastising you, you know. Or the Lord can chastise you just because he wants to. So you can go into a certain way he wants you to go, you know. Or sometimes, you know, you're just catching hell because you're catching hell. But anyway, you know, the dude, um, he said, uh, he said to us uh, in the council, he did this, you know, he was mad at us and we didn't do anything to him, but he was catching hell. And he said that nobody's catching hell more than him, you know, and that kind of got all the brothers uh, upset, especially me, because, uh, you know, every brother has uh, a hell a lot. Let me say, brothers have a lot that the Lord have given us, and no no brother's hell is greater than than the other, you know, because the Lord said He don't give us what we can't handle, you know. He also says that we have we have what a different measure of faith. Brothers handle their hell uh, in a different way, but accordingly according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. So it's a lesson to be learned. You know, with the apostles going over this show, you know, and I definitely understand quite clear. And uh, this is just my response. I don't have but much, you know, because the elder said it all. But I hope to uh, just to add, you know, skillful add on to the spirit for brothers, 
because this is real, man. This is real, man. This is real, man. You don't know, boy. This is real. But um, anyway, um, I, 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 the, the eldest apostle said, um, condition of the battle. All right, and that, that stuck with me. So, you know, the condition. I, I did a quick Google search on condition. All right, and the word condition. 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 All right. It actually means the state of something with regard to its appearance, quality, or working order. Let me read that again. It says the state of something with regard to its appearance, quality, or working order. It says the circumstances. Let me read that again so I can. The state of something with regard to to its appearance quality or work in order so regardless you know your mind might be in a uh, uh, you know your mind might be in a, in a place where you're not com where you're not comfortable no matter what we still gotta teach the truth you know and as the apostle said you know uh, you don't know what, what brothers are actually going through what hell are they facing you know, and, um, you know, brothers don't just come out and tell all their business, but, you know, unless it's a testimony, something that would edify edification in it, you know, but, um, but for the most part, you know, brothers, um, edify cause that's, what's important. So no matter what it is, you know, it says the state of something with regard to its appearance, you know, you don't really know the condition the brother's mind in, but you know that he's pushing forth the work, you know? It says um, quality or work in order. Now, the second one, it says the circumstances affecting the way in which people live or work, especially with regard to their safety or well-being. The circumstances affecting the way in which people live or work, you know? Now, this truth, we gotta, we have to put the Lord first. The Lord says, seek ye the kingdom, you know? So regardless of where you gotta work, how you gotta work, you know, you have to put the Lord first. It says the circumstances affecting the way in which people live. You know, we have to live a certain way. You know, that's why, you know, we, we are taught, you know, to, hey, you know, we, we, we Clark Kent when we outside of camp, you know, we're not, uh, wearing fringes on our shirts, you know, everywhere we go to let everybody know we're an Hebrew Israelite. That's not important to let people know outside of you camping, you know, because they're going to look at you regardless, you know, as a so-called black Hispanic anyway, you know, and then you're making a target on your back because it's, you know, we all understand that Yahweh Shai was hated and the men of the Lord, the prophets are hated. They used to put the prophets to death, man. So why bring necessary attention to yourself, you know, when you don't have to? When we at camp, we wear our garments, we put our fringes, our borders are blue, and we speak. And that's when we're able to teach. The Lord is with us. He said, when two or three are gathered, he's in the midst of us, you know? So going back to this definition, it says the circumstance affecting the way in which people live or work. You know, it's a certain way we have to live. No matter what, we got to live according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, especially with regard to their safety or well-being. You know, hey, when we at camp, you know, we, we've given up our safety. When we're out there teaching and, and, and condemning these devils, these Edomites to their face, standing boldly for the name of the Lord, we basically giving up our safety. You know, we're like uh, martyrs, all right? We're witnesses to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, we gave our body as a living sacrifice. Who Esau want to uh, hurt? The ones, the teachers, the prophets, the one that the ones that are actually waking uh, the Lord's people up, the elect up. He want to put it into it. You know, that's why you got studio prophets. You got guys that that uh, they know the Hebrew Israelites, but they try to uh, distance themselves from the prophets. That's on the street teaching. You know, you got some groups that say. Um, we don't need to prophesize, just practice the holy days, 
you know, uh, the, you know, all types of shit, man, trying to hide from Esau. Esau going to get your ass too. For one, you knowing that you're a Hebrew Israelite is a threat to him. You know, this is this knowledge. All right. Was something that he never wanted to spring back up in the earth. We're headed into his what? New world order. We're in his new world order. The be first beginning. All right. Before they start forcing this RFID mm -hmm. microchip. And you, you think that he want to hear about what he dread the most? And you out there with fringes on, showing hair covered up and whatever. And you doing these holy days, filming yourself like y'all got peace between y'all, you and your group. And y'all, y'all practicing the Passover and y'all putting it on YouTube. You a threat. Esau want that ass, man. He gonna get you too. You know, so. All right, anyway. You know, that's the condition of the battle, man. That's part of it. It's not all of it, but it's part of it. Also, the condition of the battle is that we study to learn the word, to know the word, because the scriptures say, uh, the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. So what's going to keep us stable in those times is is the knowledge and wisdom. The knowledge is the riches, man, of Yahweh Bashimi I was shy. All right. And the wisdom is is uh is the word, man. OK of the Lord, you know, that wisdom, it, it, it allows us to know right from wrong, you know what to do, you know what not to do, you know, if, if you don't know that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, you're going to consider taking that mark of the beast, you're going to consider taking that chip, but if you do know, then you're not going to consider, and even if you're faced with death, you're going to say, well, the Lord the Lord, a, you know, I'm with the Lord. The Lord with me, you know. So, it is what it is, man. Um, I got just a few precepts, precepts and scriptures we already know as brothers, all right. But for you newly fruit out there coming in and you learning, know the condition of the battle. You know, go watch Elder Apostle Ramla's video uh, because that's a lesson to be learned, no matter what. And 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 it applies to myself first, you know, as I watch it, because the one thing about being in this truth is standing in the truth, man. We stand in the truth because you can be in this truth. This is from my, my little experience and what I understand by being in this truth and the little years I've been in it. All right. Um, is that you can get conditioned and you can get um, you can get conditioned into this routine. And you get into this routine, hopefully your routine is, is healthy. Hopefully your routine is working because then it would be easy for you. You don't think about doing the works of the Lord. That's the routine you want to get into. But you can get yourself in this routine. You're going to camp every week. You know, you're getting up with the brethren. The holy days come in. They come, they go out, you know, and then eventually, you know, you, you're not really um, taking the Lord uh, seriously, because you're going through a routine, you're used to it. You like, ah, right, yeah, yeah, all right, okay, ah, right, yeah, yeah, all right, I gotta do that, yeah, yeah, you know. And what happens is you lose the fear of the Lord. You stop actually um, fearing the Lord, you know. And that's the first step of understanding, you know. So then, what you start doing stupid shit, you know. Then eventually, you might think that you're still in the truth, but in all reality, your spirit is way far from your how about you? shot. That's scary, man. That's scary. That is scary. You know, that's why the scriptures say we must examine examine ourselves to see whether we are in the truth. Meaning you got to have those conversations with yourself. It's, it's about you. You know, we got to have a conversation. Am I, you know what I'm saying? You know, then them demons also attack you. You ain't a man of the Lord, you know. And like the apostle said, he said you have a dream. Yeah, that, that uh, you know, sometimes you have a dream and shit and then it discourages you when you, you get up. You thinking about you gonna die, you know, you got shot in a dream, wondering if you the elect, you know, it, it, your dream didn't pan out the way you thought it would, you know, because you prophesizing. You know, your dream, you might be in martial law, the next thing you know, you wake up, I mean not wake up, you in the dream and then you get the chip and then you start thinking, Oh shit, I'm gonna get the chip later. <laughs> you know, it's demons, man. But um excuse me. Know, but these things is uh the condition of the battle all right so this is my first precept this is first timothy's chapter 6 and 11 it says but thou old man 
of the Most High, flee from these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Uh, meekness. These are things that we constantly have to follow, you know, because it's, the, it's part of the condition of the battle. You know, you're battling yourself. You know, you can't say that the Lord made you go off when you went off. You can't point the finger at brothers and say, this brother made me go off. You know, this brother ain't teach me this, so I ain't know, so it's his fault. No, it ain't. It's your fault. You know, ain't no excuses, man. There's no excuses. You can't get mad at a brother because he ain't teach me this. I dare you. It's up to you to learn, man. If you ain't learn, you got to open your mouth to ask to get taught or you got to go searching, you know, and, and most importantly, you got to be praying, you know. Now it says, um, but thou, O man of the most high, flee these things. Flee what? Flee this world. Now, does that mean flee, flee America, get out of America, go live somewhere on an island? No. It's saying flee these things, flee the corruption, flee this ideology of this society in which you live in. You know, flee from them, um, them ideas and inventions that, 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 that man make up. Don't follow that way. Follow the, the scriptures. Follow what the Lord said and the, and the mighty prophets, man. All right. Of the Lord. Now, it says, um, follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, faith. Got to follow faith because that's what the world lacked today. That's what Israel lacked. The great ingredient, the most important ingredient, you know, of the dish, of the meal, is faith. Jake, lack it. They don't have it. It wasn't given, you know. Mm. And it's very few of us out here that have it. And when you have it, you want to hold on to it, man. You want to hold on to it because it's a gift, you know. Uh, I was told this in the world. Like I said, brothers who know me, they know I've played sports all my life. And um, and um, I was told this in the world, which is true. I'm an older dude, you know, that was, uh, you know, anyway, no hit or there. Anyway, he told me that, um, you know, he was like, yo, don't, don't stop playing. Don't, don't stop doing what you're doing because, uh, because you're going to lose that gift. He's like, trust me, I know. He said, I'm trying to get my shit back together. And I was like, you know, as a kid, I was so desiring to play a sport, play basketball, go to the NBA, you know, you know, typical J, you know, they, they Jake dreams and shit. But, um, you know, and I was really into it, you know, every day playing ball, working out, conditioning, all that. And he told me that and that stuck with me as a kid. And that's why I figured I, I took that as in I got to do this. I got to I got to do it all the time. I can't stop. I can't stop. You know what I'm saying? Because if you stop, you're going to lose the gift. So how much more in this truth? If if um, the Lord give you a, the gift of faith, he can take that gift away if you're not exercising it. And one way to exercise the gift of faith is, is, to, is to do the works, is to teach the word. You know, teach what you know. You know, speak the oracles, the oracles of which the Lord gave you, you know, in the way that you know. And if you do that, you know, you're conditioning yourself for the day of the battle because the word becomes you. And sometimes, uh, you know, like I was told, you know, by doing doing shows, it helps you study. It just sticks, you know. But anyway, it says righteousness, godliness, faith, love, because you want to have love to the brethren. That's another fight because we still got this. We still in this, this sinful flesh. You know, a brother could do something and you might have uh, some 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 hate in you toward him. But he a man of the Lord. Yeah, that's hard. You got to check that. Sh you got to check that shit, man. That attitude. You got to check that demon, you know, to get that shit up off you. We, we see we were niggas before the Lord. And now we're brethren while we with the Lord, you know, by being with the brethren, you with the Lord, man. So you got to learn to love. You know, it says patience, meekness. Being humble, learning to suffer. It's not easy, but you have to learn how to channel your energy around the sufferings and 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 into righteousness. That's why people say we're crazy. This is why people will look at us and say we're fools for Yahweh Shai. Y'all a bunch of fools. Cause they know the 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 severity the severity, if I'm saying that right, they know the dangers of us being out there teaching and saying what we're saying. 
So they call us fools for the Lord. And as the scriptures say, we're fools for Yahweh Shai sake. All right. It says, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. That's what the goal is, to lay hold on eternal life. You know, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good, a good profession before many witnesses. All right. So this is Second Edges chapter 14 and 13. It says, Now therefore set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and, and now renounce corruption. Let go from thee mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. All right. This is, is important. You know, this is very important. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Because we're mortal men, you know. We're in the sinful flesh. We can have these sin. We can have these mortal thoughts, which really burden you. You know, it, you gotta learn how to cast it away. It says, "Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man." You gotta forget about the myth, the uh, the bill that's coming up. You know, you gotta, y'all, oh, shit, man. Deadline coming. What the fuck I'm gonna do? I ain't got the bread for it, or, or damn, you know, this apartment, whatever. You gotta forget about that and and and, and uh, be in the moment, be in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, because being in the spirit with the Lord first, the Lord can handle that for you. You know, and sometimes the Lord can handle it right at the very last minute. But that, but that's to what, to uh, to give you that that uh that that more anchor of faith, of trust, of hope in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The Lord is perfect. You know. It says, um, let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. We want to put off a weak nature. Weak nature is flesh. It's flesh. It says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste to flee from these times. So the scriptures is literally teaching us how to be conditioned for the battle. All right? Because this is a battle. You know, your own thoughts, you know, fighting your own, your own spirit. Well, fighting your own flesh Because your, the scriptures say the spirit is willing But the flesh is weak So it says For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen Shall be done hereafter uh, For look how much the world shall be weakened through age So much the more shall evils increase upon that dwell therein For the time is fled far away And leasing is at hand For now hasted the vision to come Which thou hast seen all right, so I'm going to jump to the next scripture. This is Ephesians chapter 6 and 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You see? So being conditioned for the battle, you know, is, is very much needed. It's a lesson to be learned. It's something that you have to always understand. It's a lesson to understand. You know, we know different topics and breakdowns, but, you know, experience is the real teacher. You know, it says, um, put on the whole armor of the most high that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We're fighting against curses that's being put upon us. First off, curses that are upon us from the Most High. We got to fight that. Those are demons. We got to remain striving for righteousness while we have curses on us. You know, we're, we're fighting the curses of these devils in which they put up on us, these elites, you know. You know, like their priesthood. They put up curses on the Israelites every day. All right. They're doing sacrifices and all these things. This is why, you know, they got two thirds of our people, the majority of the nation. All right. Got them sinning willfully. You know, they don't even consider the most high. So that's that that's that's detrimental. That's 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 damaging the the, the few remnant. That's hard, man. It's hard <laughs> because if our people were all on the same mind. Everything could be a lot more easier. Imagine the Sabbath. Imagine if the, uh, our people, the, the, the so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native and Seminole Indians, 
all right, the 12 tribes right now, honored the Sabbath. It'll make it more easier for you to honor the Sabbath, you know? Because why? When you forget, because sometimes it's slick, that's why it's good to be reminded or keep the Sabbath on your mind, you know, each week. Because you'll be like, oh shit, guess what? You wouldn't even be able to buy shit, you know? Hey, Jacob be looking at you, what you doing? Sabbath. Oh, oh, oh shit, all right, you know? It'll be beautiful, man. Your woman wouldn't be tempting you to, to uh, you know, you know, to, uh, you know, to, to uh, bust her down. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine these things, man. But we're going to imagine this and it's going to actually happen in the kingdom, man. You know, righteousness is going to be easy. Right now, righteousness is very hard because you got to keep striving. You got to keep sacrificing. All right. So, um, uh. Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to, able to withstand the evil day, and having done all to stand. <laughs> See? Because Jacob's trouble ain't approached. And we, we're definitely headed into that. You know, this the, these little battles that we have, you know, it's a light affliction, you know, because the ultimate battle is the, is the last battle, you know, all right, when Jacob's trouble hit. So it says, um, stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shrouded in the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is which is the word of Yahweh praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perverse uh, preservance and supplication of all saints all right The shield of faith and the helmet of salvation. All right, so I hope this lesson was edifying. That's it. Um, you know, this is just my little uh, two cents added on, skillful adding with the Apostle Elder Apostle Rumlop and his show. Um, the title was No Matter What. You know, No Matter What. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Rakak Kodash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.